And welcome to Sun River. Uh, we hope while you're here, uh, in addition to having great collaboration and, and uh, great discussions and listening to some great talks, that you have time to enjoy uh, the environment. It's meant to allow you to have a nice atmosphere so that you can meet colleagues, talk to people, and learn things. <coughs> Our events today at the symposium, we're very happy to have a number of speakers that will be in our plenary sessions. Uh, and they're coming from a variety of different uh, organizations and locations. Uh, and we're uh, looking forward to hearing uh, their talks as well as all the individual parallel science talks. We have over 80 speakers uh, that you're able to listen to in three parallel streams. Uh, this afternoon, there will be a uh, PRAC PI meeting that we hope all the PIs or their representatives will be able to attend. It'll be over in the other building, and that will be at 3.30 this afternoon. Uh, and uh, Ed Walker, who's our NSF program manager, will be uh, making a short presentation and having some other discussions um, uh, here. Uh, this evening, there is a poster session, again, in the Great Hall. Uh, of our graduate students' work and, and interns' work and some other posters. So we hope that you come there at 6 o'clock. There's a reward in that there is uh, refreshment being provided before dinner. So uh, come and enjoy and wander around the posters. Uh, on Wednesday, we <coughs> have a special event for you, uh, a uh, project that is associated with Blue Waters and Exceed called Cadence. Uh, is a project focused on uh, helping to document real scientific uh, accomplishments and methods uh, for the general public. And our advanced visualization laboratory group puts together a high quality show uh, that is uh, for suitable for museum quality or, or planetarium quality IMAX type shows. So we'll be showing their most recent release, Seeing the Beginning of Time, and also uh, providing some discussion about the background of how that uh, such document, uh, such, such works are, are created. And then on Thursday, uh, in addition to <coughs> our having our advisory committee meeting, uh, there will be many tutorials that you're able to sign up for, and you've already, s in many cases, have done that. And again, uh, the discussion time is one of the most important aspects of how we try to organize the meeting. So uh, I'd like to introduce some uh, people and ask them to stand. We have some groups uh, because, again, through the collaboration activities and giving you uh, opportunities to engage with some people, I'd first like to uh, ask our Blue Waters graduate fellows from 2017-18 to stand and uh, wave to the audience so everybody can stand up. There should be um, ten, 10 folks here. They've all been working very hard on their research. <laughs> and uh, we'll be, be discussing that throughout the, the, the workshop. So thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Uh, the next group are, is our new uh, fellows, uh, cadre. Again, if you could all stand. These are folks, this is their first event with us in Blue Waters. Um, and uh, we had a breakfast meeting uh, with them uh, and the uh, uh, past year fellows. But uh, again, uh, hopefully they will meet a variety of people in their disciplines and fields and be able to start their collaborations uh, on Blue Waters with others. So uh, let's give them a round of applause as well. We also have some of our undergraduate interns here uh, <coughs> to um, uh, make some presentations and posters. Uh, these are folks that are working for a year as a paid internship uh, through the Schoder Foundation uh, with mentorship and uh, uh, David and Jamie are here presenting some of their work as well. So could you stand up please if you're... And we have a past former uh, uh, internship, who now is a graduate student at the University of Illinois. So Colleen is there as well. So again, a round of applause. Thank you very much. So now we want to uh, get you to recognize some of the Blue Water staff because these are the people that hopefully to work with and engage with over the next couple days. And I know that we asked, is there, uh, in, during the application or the registration process, are there people or topics that you'd like to talk to about with us? We had an overwhelming response, so um, 
uh, in one of the areas, there's more than 47 of you who want to talk about visualization and data, so uh, th those folks will be very busy. But uh, let's go through them, and if um, the staff can actually migrate up to the front of the room and stay up here so we get the entire set there. So uh, the first is our uh, leadership of the project. Our all, uh, all five of us who are co-PIs on the project are here, so if... Um, uh, well, Win May is coming, so uh, can you stand up, please? Come on up here for, for a minute. So if you have questions about the project overall, uh, we would be happy to answer them or find the answers for you. Uh, the project management and support, uh, these uh, people are the ones, and they have to come in from outside, we'll stop registration. Um, so uh, I'd like to give a special round of applause uh, once they get in here, because they are the people who actually set up all the logistics and have worked with you to get your travel set up, to get you registered, and um, is Noni coming in too? So Susan, Noni, and Charon, so come on up here. Let's give them a round of applause, because they worked very, very hard to get this all to set up. Um, and and there is one person who's not here, uh, uh, Cindy, who also worked very hard, and she's home with her new baby, so she's not here this time, but um, we appreciate it. Now, uh, if you're uh, uh, not aware, we have many things that have the theme of water associated with Blue Water. Seas Group, um, those groups that have themed on, on a water theme, science and engineering communication support. So if stand up, and uh, come on up here. They also are the points of contact for not only the PRAC projects, but also the fellows and, and others. Uh, and Greg reminds me that this is a subset of the group. These are the people who are physically here. About half the group is here uh, now, so there are some people that, that uh, you may work with who are not physically here. That's the case for, for most of us uh, as well. Next is our storage and uh, system management, uh, quality assurance, data, and networking. So you folks, can you stand up and come on up here? So not all uh, uh, support activities go through just the, the C's group, but there are many other things that uh, you are able to engage with and, and talk about, anywhere from how systems are scheduled to how your networking is working uh, <coughs> and how we can help you with that. So these are the, the faces that you would uh, want to go find if you have questions or areas or just are curious about how things uh, go on. And our visualization data group. Jonathan, Rob, and, and Mark, come on up. So they are each going to handle about 16 of uh, interactions with you all. Um, we uh, did not set particular times that uh, you can engage for, with these folks. They'll be around the whole week. So uh, you can set your own times with them uh, to talk about what you want to do, or as I said, if you're just curious about what people like this do, uh, please work with them. And then uh, our education and outreach activities, <coughs> Max and Scott, Jennifer and Aaron. So uh, these folks take care of all the education and outreach activities, including our internships, our fellowship programs, and um, uh, much of our training and educational activities. In public affairs, uh, we have three experts from our public affairs uh, office here. Uh, I think two of them are setting things up, okay, uh, because <coughs> we uh, are doing um, uh, interviews with a, a number of uh, you as representatives of your teams trying to help uh, continually document the science and, and engineering that you're accomplishing. Uh, and I think that there are some scheduled interviews, video interviews, uh, that will be then turned into other types of public affairs and public relation documentation or, or uh, events. So. And our external evaluators. <coughs> Jung is, okay, come on up. So uh, one of the things about Blue Waters is that we are rigorously trying to always figure out how we can improve and how we evaluate ourselves. So we actually have external 
uh, folks who do assessments for us, anywhere from surveys of, our, uh, of you all in terms of the satisfaction you have with us to uh, understanding our graduate fellows and, and the programs there. Uh, Lizanne is not here yet, but um, uh, they will be contacting you and working with you on a number of different surveys and, and feedback instruments that then we use to improve things throughout the program. So, uh, can we give these folks a round of applause because they work very hard to make you successful. Thank you very much.